Today we're doing a $100 blister challenge where I open blisters from $1 all the way to $100 to see which is the best. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we have an epic blister opening challenge today, but before that we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this magnificent Mavens mini box. It comes with the sleeves, comes with a few packs. You just gotta like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know in the comments, which do you think will win? The $1 blisters, the $100 blisters, or maybe a stack in between. So how this is gonna work is I have a $1 blister right here, which is Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm, but it's not gonna be $1 versus 1,000 just straight up like that. Because $1 is a little low, it's gonna be the total amount of these blisters is gonna equal 100 in this stack. So so this is the lowest one. We're not gonna open 100 of these blisters, that'd be ridiculous. The reason these are so cheap is because they're the light edition. So there's not a lot of cards in there, but instead of having 100 of these, we're gonna do $10 as well. So we have $10 blisters, which is Legendary Duels Rage of Raw. So we have 10 of those. We have a bonus little $1 blister Legendary Duels Synchro Storm. That is gonna be one of our competitors. Then we have a $20 blister, which is Rise of the Duelist. So we're gonna have five of these to equal up to $100 sealed. Then we have four $25 blisters, which are the Legendary Duelist blisters which for some reason are $25, but as soon as the reprints come out, these will not be that much anymore, but four of these. And then we have a singular $100 Pharaonic Guardian blister. And the way this is gonna work is we're gonna total up the pulls out of each of these stacks. Um, you know, Pharaonic Guardian just has one and we're gonna see what the winner will be. So let me know in the comments, do you think the $10 stack, the $20 stack, the $25 stack, or the one $100 blister will win and have the best pulls. So let's hop right into this opening. We're gonna start off with our absolute cheapest blister, the Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. If I had to pick one i'm gonna go with a tough call actually this doesn't actually count i guess i mean i guess it does yeah those extra cards i guess do count because they're part of the blisters i think i'm gonna go with rise of the duelist i think they're gonna do the best that's my personal pick let me know in the comments what you guys picked i think rage of rocks has a good chance just because there are so many packs like there's 22 total packs for the 100 bucks which is quite a lot. We get a Fleur Synchron. These, I'm not expecting much. If we get a Baron, that would be great, but it's probably unlikely that it happens because it is a light pack. So light packs, I mean, they're like Dollar General packs, basically. And then there's two of them, like in these blisters. So they're like even like less valuable. They're very hard to actually get value out of. You usually don't even pull a foil. Since it's not even guaranteed in Legendary Duels to begin with, but then when there's even less cards, it's really, you know, really not guaranteed. It's very hard. Legendary Duelist, uh, Rage of Raw. These are not guaranteed foils, but they are pretty easy to get a foil. It's probably like one in three, maybe even better than that to actually pull one. Token Stampede, we could th get the Ghost Rare Raw, which would be pretty crazy. The True Name, that is an ultra rare. So, I mean, hey, good start for Rage of Raw. I don't think this is actually a dollar, so it's not actually gonna go towards our value, but hey, it is an ultra rare. We'll take it in the first pack. Really, if it had been like the God Slime guy, that would have been a little bit better, but that's okay. Egyptian God Slime. Genzo, we've got the Mechlord Army Grinnell. And then we've got the Mechlord Emperor Wizel Synchro Absorption. That is two foils. Those are not guaranteed, I promise. All right, Legendary Duelist is starting off absolutely hot right now. It is on fire. Two Legendary Duelists. Will they be able to live up to the other ones? Let's see. The most packs are with the Rage of Ra. And I know a lot of you guys have actually been asking me to open Rage of Ra. So I have a couple of Rage of Ra openings coming up. So hopefully you're going to enjoy those. Genzo, the Machine Menace, another Ultra. We have literally hit a foil every time. I was like, yeah, they're not guaranteed. You're not going to get a foil. But uh, maybe the Rage shows are even better than I thought. I said a third, maybe it's half. I don't know. But right now we're three for three, which is pretty insane. I'd take a ghost trick. I'd be okay with that. Mechlord Army of Grinnell. We got Amplifier, Monster Reborn, and a Wild Monster appears. So there it is. We finally did not get a foil. That was like four packs in a row. That's pretty insane. Next pack, Rage of Raw. You gotta believe. You gotta pull something epic. Here we go. Will it be a ghost rare? So there's only five cards in these packs. So they do go a little bit quicker, but we have to go through the uh through the actual blister part, which I'm gonna probably be cutting out of the video. So it's not so long. I'm just watching me open a blister pack. We got Left Arm Offering, the Holding Arms, Mechlord Emperor Skiel, Chaos Infinity, and Everlasting Owl. Just imagine if we had opened a hundred of those Synchro Storm light packs. How exciting would that have been? Not at all, because guess what? There'd be two in each pack. There'd be a hundred of them. There'd be 200 packs, three cards, getting nothing. It'd be insane. Genzo, Genzo Jector, and a Mechlord Astro, the Eradicator. Okay, so they started off hot. We're definitely on a cold streak right now for the Legend of Duelist Rage Raw. I was going to say Jinzo packs for some reason. We have Monster Reborn, Mechlord Army Grinnell, and the Wild Monster appears. Okay, we're really cooling down now. All it takes is one pack, though. If we get a Ghost Share, it's insane. Here we go. Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. 
We can do this. Ghost Rare Reboot. Metal Reflect Slime. Ruxin Special right there. Genzo Returner right to the non-hollow. Amazing. Yeah, not really. Not that great, actually. Very unfortunate. Holding legs. We have Resolute Mechlord Army, the Fortress, Genzo Jector, and a Psychic Mega Cyber. Five of these left. So we're halfway through Rage of Raw, which is pretty insane that these are like... I mean, they, they're, they're going to take up more than half the opening probably because, I mean, there was the most packs for these compared to all the other ones. I almost just like completely died right there. I don't know what that was. You just got to believe that that meant there's a Ghost Rare. I could sense Raw's presence. No, I couldn't. I couldn't sense Ross presence, unfortunately. We started three for three. I don't think we've hit a foil since. So it has definitely gotten worse. Right now, it's going to change that. Jury Ghetto and Mechlord Army. Hey, it's a super rare. I did change it. We will take that. I don't think it's a dollar, so... I don't know if any of these are a dollar, to be honest. We will pull something that's worth money from Rage of Raw, right? 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 Amplifier, Monster Reborn, Resolute, Resolute Mechlord Army. The Resolute Desk! Oh. We have to kidnap the president. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got a little uh, got a little confused about what was going on there. I thought it was Nicolas Cage for a second. Okay, three packs to go. By three packs, I mean three blisters. So we got six packs, but uh, 30 total cards. Can we get a Ghost Rare? Psychic Shockwave, Sun God Unification. I mean, hey, it's a foil. We cannot complain about that. Come on. You got to believe, guys. Here's where it happens. We have Mechlord Armory Wazel, a reboot. Genzo Lord. The Wing Dragon of Raw. Okay, it's not the Ghost Rare. But it is the alternate art, and I think this is around like $13 to $15. If I, my memory serves correct, if I guess that price is accurate, that is nice. That's definitely going to help towards winning the battle. Two blisters to go. Can we get that ghost right now? That Winged Dragon Raw is definitely a nice pull. So that's a good start for the $10 slash $1 uh, pile there. If you guys voted for them, you might be feeling a little bit better right now. Holding legs, reboot, and Mount of the Bound Creator. So maybe not after that one, but... Still three packs to go. Still chances to pull Ghost Rares. You could pull three for all we know. You know, in a blister pack, we have the true name again. Another Ultra Rare. I don't think it's a dollar, unfortunately. Last blister for the first contestant. So far, I think maybe the only one worth over a dollar is the Winged Dragon of Raw, but that's definitely a solid pull. One of the best in this set. So let's see if we can add with a Ghost Rare. Jinzo. I mean, if that was a Ghost or an Ulti in this set, this set would be absolutely awesome. It would have a couple of awesome ones. We have Chaos Infinity. Reboot. Come on. Last pack. Magic. Metal Reflect. Slime. And an Amplifier. Okay, so... Nothing too crazy there, but we did end up with a pretty solid pull. We'll see if that's enough to win the entire battle. Here's the total value that we got from the first contestant. Let's move on to the Rise of the Duelist pack. Five blister packs to go. I did double check these because I got these from the same guy. I don't know if you guys have seen that video yet, but you might have to check that out later. Something interesting happened with some of these blisters. Uh, these seem to all be legit. Let's go. Five to go. Can they pull? Basically, I mean, you got to be about 15 bucks off the top of my head. I could be wrong. You know, I'm just ballparking it during the video. We got uh, Fry for Jar, Indulge Dark Lord, Math Mech Diameter, Dark Lord Uprising, Dogmatic and Nexus, a Starlight, but of course, probably win the whole thing. Let's see. Digidice, Melvy Finny, Infernoble Noble Knight, all of her super rare. I mean, it would definitely beat the one blister for Onic Guardian because no matter what you pull, I don't think you could beat like a triple tactics talent, so it's like $700 card. Um, but you could maybe beat the Gaia if you get like a Lava Golem or something. So I don't know. We'll have to see when that happens. One, two, three, four. Let's go. $20 blister stack. We have five of them. Melfi Rabbit, Super Heavy Samurai, Scarecrow. This is my pick. So I need my pick to step it up. Fright for Jar. Come on, Dark Lord. Root for your picks in the comments. Linker Bell, we got Boot Up Device, Melfi Tag, Fury of Karyushin, and a Nemesis Keystone. Okay, we're 0 for 2. Not good for my pick so far. Three packs to go. All it takes is one pack for a huge pull. Let's go, guys. This could be it. This could be something huge. Rise of the Duelist, one of the most popular sets to come out in the last few years. Can have a Triple Tactics Talents, a DD Crow. I mean, I would take a guy. I would be happy to pull that. Drill Driver, Vespinato. We got Infernoble Arms, Hot Claire. We've got the Machina Re Machina Resavat. Resavager? I don't know. We got uh, Resavager, but that's Machina, not, not Machina. Okay. Knight Astolfo. We got the Uprising, Dogmatic Nexus, the Infernoble Knight, Magus. Dark Lord Nurgal. We have an Infernoble Knight Oliver Same Super Rare. No, don't do this to us. Only two packs to go. My pick is at zero dollars pulled guys this is not looking good you gotta believe in the heart of the cards rise of the duelist i don't know why i just had a good feeling about these packs i'm not sure why i did one two three four and right now i'm questioning my decision but you just gotta believe you gotta stay strong you gotta believe in your in your pick hot claire we've got the east by south winds the dark lord 
Dogmatica Theo, DD Arc, Dracoon Lamp, Spiral Reborn. There's the Gaia. Okay, Melfi Finney. We have a Nadir Servant Secret Rare. Let's go. I knew I had a good feeling about these. That's a big one. This on the initial release was like a $70 card. I know it's not that good anymore. I really can't remember if it's better than $15 now because it's had several reprints. This is going to be a close battle. So add that to our tally. I knew I had a good feeling. You just got to believe. One more pack. Rise of the Duel is first edition. Whew. If we get something else, I'll be feeling good about beating at least the Rage of Raw. And then we've got a couple that else that we have to beat. Rise of the Duel is first edition. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do this. Heavenly Dragon Circle, Dogmatic Theo. let's get another foil, we got Melfi Hide and Seek, Horn of Oliphant from Lord of the Rings, we get Unauthorized Boot Up Device, Melfi Tag, Fury of Karyushin, the Dogmatic Nation, and our final card is Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin, hey, it's a Gaia card, I guess. All right, so we only ended up with this Nadir Servant, but that might be enough to edge it out, you guys will see right here if we have the lead or not. We got two more competitors to come. I am sure a lot of you guys in the comments picked the legacy packs because you love these. This is the first four sets is what I decided to go with here. Let's start off with the newest one. I know, not very new. This is the four 2002 sets, so this is cool. Pharaoh Servant, all the original OG sets. Plus you get to count all these extra cards. So if there's anything valuable in here, these will be extra money. So that's a cool looking card. I like that. Naturia Horn Needle. Wow, that seems, oh, in Arsenal, it's probably not worth anything. Maybe some of these comments. Chosen one! You are the chosen one! Anakin Skywalker! All right. Very cool stuff. There's a barrier statue. Not great. Our first pack, the Pharaoh Servant reprint pack. I don't know if we got any value out of those. I didn't see any cards I recognized that were value, but if there were, then, you know, that'd be great. We got Burning Land from Weevil. We got Reign of Mer Why do I think Weevil uses that? I don't Weevil from Duel Links, that's why. Dokuro Yaibu, Light of Intervention. We got Bombardment Beetle. Urshaker, could we get that Jinzo? That would automatically put these in first. Gradius, Morphing Jar, Numero Dos, and will we get a foil? Cold Wave, just a common. So, over on that one, we got three to go. Spell Ruler next. Let's see if we can get any bonus cards in here that are actually worth something. We'll have to see. First off, we have Rares, which is not a great sign. Shein's Advisors, that's at least a super, but it's from a set with all super, or all foils. Giant Ballpark's actually a good card. We'll have to look into that one. Fire Prison, Summon Over, Air Cracking Storm, Veil of Darkness, Predoplast, and Scare Claw. Okay, I don't see anything too crazy. Maybe this, I don't think this is worth anything, but we'll have to see. I think maybe Giant Ballpark, but being a common, unlikely it's over a dollar. We'll have to see. Spell Ruler. Come on, Spell Ruler. You need to pull Relinquish. You need to pull Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. Let's go. Do the pack trick. Did I do it? One, two. I didn't actually do it. I forgot to do that. Okay. We have Peacock. Very nice. Eternal Rest, Darth Maul, Awaiting Orders, Chorus of Sanctuary, Final Destiny, The Metal Fish, Horn of Light, Mechanical Snail, Giant Rat, and we have a painful choice. It's a choice and it's painful. Is it a dollar? That's the question. So the legacy reprints will not be going over in terms of foil pulls, but will they actually have any score that's worth anything because they got to get over 10 bucks for sure i think to beat wing dragon raw in the new year's server there's no way that those are worth under 10 i think we've got Lyralisk, assemble nightingale we've got the uh sylvan princess sprite okay wait what is that oh it's from maximum crisis so those are like guaranteed so probably not worth over a dollar kaiju capture mission needle ce needle ceiling all the way from back from dark beginning too that's pretty crazy old stuff probably not worth much metal raiders time you know what is worth much the pequeno moth so make sure you guys uh i don't know i was about to say make sure you guys check out the pequeno moth for some reason i mean i mean check him out i mean you're about to check him out right here we got swamp battle guard Tori, dome of the angel of silence cybersaurus i always thought this guy looked like a teddy bear for some reason he's like all fluffy looking uh dream clown nice guardian of the Zay labyrinth this also looks like when naruto's training at the waterfall you know castle of dark illusions we got Witch's Apprentice hugging her broom, and we have a Seven Tools of the Bandit. It's another ultra rare, well, a ultra rare, another foil, but it's probably the second worst one. I would say Horn of Heaven is probably the worst, but second worst ultra rare. Still, I really like the card. Definitely not gonna put them ahead though. Two for three on foils. They're just getting the wrong ones. Legend of Blue Eyes, here's your chance. Can they pull enough? Will these bonus cards come in clutch? We have, oh, that's an ultra rare. That's cool from DRL3, so I'm not crazy. BLRR Iron Knight, we got Cosmic Compass, Mental Seeker, what else we got? Weeping Idol, Mimir, Nutria Pumpkin, and the 
Kara Curry card. Okay. We are down to the final pack for the $25 blisters, and then we go on to the Pharaonic Guardian, the final tier, the $100 blister. I don't know who's winning right now, but I know that Legacy reprints need to pull something. We have the Basic Insect for Weevil Underwood, Vile Germs, Petite Angel, Succubus Knight, Follow the Wind, Itatsumi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor, Hane Hane, Hane Hane, however you want to call it. Will we pull our third foil in a row? Here we go! Swords of Revealing Light! We did pull another foil. This is insane. Three for four foils on Legacy Openings is not... That's not usual. That is pretty unusual, actually. But I still don't know if that's enough. Here's your total from your Legacy reprints if you're rooting for them. Make sure you let me know in the comments. Onto the final blister. And here we go with the $100 Pharaonic Guardian blister. Gonna need to pull something big, like ultra rare probably to get this much. This is gonna hurt because this is actually a really clean blister. I've had this for a while. Here we go. Let's let's rip this thing. Gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Sometimes these are kind of difficult to open, even though they are pretty old. Um, here we go. Get that open. I was expecting there to be cards because of those other blisters. That hurt a lot. If you guys watch that in your sealed collector, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that to you. Blizzard should, just shouldn't be open. I mean, to be honest, they just look too good. First edition for Honor Guardian, at least these old ones. Can we get Donzalu? Can we get Lava Golem? What else would we want? There's a lot of, like, kind of cool ultra rares. It's really the... What is happening? It did the, oh, wait, wait. It seems like that's, okay, wait. Uh, I Okay, well, this is what we're gonna do. So I think that the kind of the pack trick for us in a weird way, I've never seen a pack like that before. That's pretty weird. Uh, the, the cards were flipped two different ways. I think, I, I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the commons in here are great, so they could add some value to this battle. That is weird. Okay, let's just keep going. Weird blister opening. First edition for Ana Guardian. Let's see. Maybe that means we got something great. We got a Gravekeeper's Curse. Banner of Courage. Curse of Aging. Yo my ship. We've got the Gravekeeper's Guard, an awesome card. This might be a dollar, actually. Hieroglyph Lithograph. I got it on the first try. That's how you do it. Reversal Quiz, a pretty awesome looking card with the, the question guy on it. A cry you well. We are looking for that metamorphosis that made it in the aqua, that trap dust shoot, stuff like that. We haven't gotten any so far. Oh, and a new Doria! No! All right. I for, why did I think there was another card? New Doria. One, two, three, four, five. That is all the cards. Okay, new Doria. Look at that centering. It's terrible. Okay. So we know one thing for sure, the old blister did not win. Here's its value. And here is the total value of all four. You guys can see who won on the screen. And if you picked the right one, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.